Let's take a look at player pools in Team Genius. So player pools, whenever we're talking about Team Genius terms, that is a group of players to be ranked and rated against each other. Oftentimes we see player pools are by age group, uh, maybe by gender. If you are performing in-season evaluations, your player pools could also be your teams. So several different use cases to uh, review. To start creating those, either go to set up player pools from your things to do menu on the homepage of your assessment, or click on the setup button and go to player pools. From there, you'll see the option to create a player pool here. Once you click there, Name your player pool. So if I am setting this up for my tryouts, I want this to be by age group. I'm gonna say these are my U10 players. If you wanted to provide a description, feel free to. An access key, if you generate that here. If you were to give this to an evaluator, that means they're only able to access the player pool U10. So if you have multiple player pools within your assessment, they're not able to see those other player pools. Um, they're only able to see the one that you've assigned to them, which in this case would be U10 via this access code. Once you hit save, you should see that player pool here. So from here, you could either create another player pool. You can go to edit that pool if you wanted to rename it or change the access key. You could also delete the pool here as well. Uh, once you have started to score players within this pool, you will not be able to delete it. Just note. Another way to create player pools is whenever you import your players under add players, if you happen to have a column of those age groups already in your CSV file whenever you're importing, you could actually map that column to player pool. And then that will create all of the pools for you and it will have all of the players assigned. If you have any questions about how to set up your player pools, let us know via help at teamgenius.com or click on the help icon down at the bottom right of your account. Thank you.